Hey friends, this is John Asraf, and I hope you're having an amazing week. Now, I want to talk with you about fear. Now, why do I want to talk about fear? Well, because it really is one of the critical factors that holds most people back. Now, there are two types of fears. The ones that you're aware about, the conscious fears that you have, but more importantly, there are unconscious fears that every single person has that holds them back from achieving success. Now the question is, which is holding you back from success? The fear of achieving success? Or is it the fear of failing on your way to success? In either case, whether you're afraid of achieving success and then wondering what is it going to take to maintain it, whether you're wondering whether people will take advantage of you because you achieve success, or whether you wonder whether you're going to be able to really keep up the pace of achieving success and then maintaining it even longer, those are real fears that people have all the time that they don't really address. The other types of fears are fears around failure. What if I try and I fail? What will that mean to my own self-esteem, to where I feel about myself? Will it prove to other people that they were right about me? What if I try and fail? That is something that we have to deal with on a daily basis, whether you're aware of it or not. What I'd like you to do is reframe all of those fears and ask yourself these questions. What if I don't live up to my potential before I die? How will I feel then? What if I go to my grave feeling like I didn't do everything that I could have done? Would you at that time wish you would have changed something? Wished you would have taken more risks? Wished you would have really gone for it with all of your might and glory and really done what you needed to do? That means learn what you needed to learn, try what you need to try, and more importantly, take action on the things that get you a little bit scared. The key to success is not in not having fear. The key to success, my friends, is in feeling the fear and doing it anyway. The way to minimize your risk is to get specialized knowledge on what you should be doing, when you should be doing it, how you should be doing it, and that will mitigate and remove most of the risk. All high performers feel the fear and do it anyway, and that's what I want you to do, is feel the fear and do it anyway. Hope you enjoyed this.